It is the 8th of the 5th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Informidable news. Congressman Fred Upton is demanding accountability and permanent fix to the leaking tank at the Palisades nuclear power plant on Lake Michigan. And says he is outraged by the announcement the announced leak that escaped into the Great Lake over the weekend. Quote, the situation is not acceptable and demands full accountability. Upton said it in a Tuesday news release. Upton, who chairs the House Energy and Commerce Committee, which has jurisdiction over domestic, domestic nuclear regulatory activities, further commented on the situation, adding, quote, it is my understanding that the water tank will be emptied by the end of the week, and with hope that it and with hope that the cause of the leak can be identified shortly thereafter. Uh, every option must be on the table, including a full replacement of the tank, to ensure the that the continuing leak will not occur again. Upton has announced he plans to visit the plant with a board member from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in the near future. <sighs> so we've got the leaking nuclear power plant over to E&E News, huge methane bubble site found near giant Louisiana sinkhole within 100 feet of Bayou Corn Home. It's a bad situation there, it's just getting worse. Fire burning next to nuclear waste near St. Louis. Officials, measurements of radioactivity have not reached levels of concern. So nothing to worry about, folks. It's got some radioactive waste on fire outside of St. Louis. Fire, uh... That goldfish in a pitcher at the U.S. nuclear plant di disposed as radioactive waste. So that goldfish they found, they disposed it as radioactive waste. Official, quote, we are not aware of a leak from primary cooling system, unquote. <sighs> Radiation level to spike at Fush Fukushima plant blamed on recent radioactive leaks. We've got three corium nuclear reactors full of MOX fuel out of containment, and uh, yeah, it's the water leaking. Expert, burp during long period of seismic event at Giant Sinkhole. Code 3 alert continues at Louisiana Bayou Corn. Uh, local news, radioactive leak from U.S. nuclear plant, quote, got to the shore. People on the beaches a mile away. Officials downplaying seriousness of the incident, question mark. Of course they are. This is the Palisades nuclear power plant that i started off the video with. Mystery bacteria at U.S. nuclear site. Official, it will be killed before being studied. Uh, this is at the mysterious bacteria cobwebs found at the Savannah River site in South Carolina cooling tank uh, sometime in fiscal year 2011. I remember um, reporting on that. Cobwebs of bacteria were first discovered. And uh, they don't know what the food source of these bacteria, and it adds to the mystery. So big mystery of what the hell's going on in these nuclear uh, cooling pools. And Attack campaign against U.S. nuclear workers, computers, malware installs broader and more ambitious than previously thought. Began nearly two months ago. Uh, they're saying our nuclear power plants are under cyber attack and have been for the last few months. Just gearing up for whatever they're going to do. Nuclear plant spills radioactive water into Lake Michigan. Ex-Fukushima nuclear worker concern about land substance at plant due to pumping up groundwater. Quote, I think TEPCO knows, and they're saying the structures are sinking because they're sucking all the groundwater from under the ground uh, right there at the, nuclear, uh, the nuclear plant of Fukushima Daiichi. And uh, these situations are ongoing and well known. Uh, scientists worried fear methane could continually feed from below the giant sinkhole. Maybe at least eight sources of gas. And Texas Brian is saying it's all played out. So it could continue to feed methane out of that giant sinkhole from as many as eight sources. Vast area of 60 million people contaminated from Fukushima disaster. Uh, I'm sorry, the entire Northern Hemisphere, and it's getting into the Southern Hemisphere now, and when that uh, radiation filters through the ocean current system in a few years, it'll be global. Uh, over to Daily News, Fukushima Diary. 
Tip code to restart nitrogen gas injection into reactor number one. And somebody please tell me, why do they pump nitrogen gas into nuclear reactors? Hmm, cold shut down my ass. 1,637 becquerels per kilogram on shiitake mushroom produced in Miyagi. These products are getting out into the market. And what's our limit here in the United States? 1,200 becquerels per kilogram. We're in Japan, it's only 100 becquerels per kilogram. Something's wrong here. They're shipping all the crap here to the United States. Atmospheric dose in plant area jumps up by 6.4 millisieverts per year for direct radiation from contaminated water. Just the plant is so radioactive right now. They're, hard, they're really having problems uh, finding employees to help do this 40-year project. A member of the Declining Birth Rate Countermeasures Task Force is CEO of McDonald's Japan. Now, uh, Fukushima Diary reported Japanese government plans to introduce the new system to medically record women's physical condition to make them breed sooner. And finally, the government of Japan is to lift all the hazardous areas in Fukushima. Nuclear Emergency Response Headquarters of the Cabinet Office announced that they are going to lift the hazardous area at Futaba Miyachi, Fukushima as of 5-28-2013. There will be no hazard area in Fukushima. The town will be in evacuation order lifting preparation area and hard to return area. They're going to send people back already. And with that, um, I'm just going to call it quits today. If I've missed anything, please of course leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy while you can everybody. I am. Thanks.